Okay, so I want to do this problem. So uh, we have f of x, y. This is going to be a vector field. We have a curve here. This is a smooth curve. And we want to compute the, the line integral of f over this curve. Now, we know how to do that. We could just do the formula that we know to use. Uh, but instead, I want to use the fundamental theorem of line integrals. And remember, the fundamental theorem of line integrals says that the integral from t equals a to b of the gradient of f dotted with dr, this is just equal to, or this is a vector, this is just f of r of b minus f of r of a. Okay, so to do this problem, notice that I give you the vector, but I don't give you the potential. So if we want to use the fundamental theorem of line integrals, we have to come up with a little f such that the gradient of little f is equal to big F. Now, in the coming videos and lectures, we will come up with a systematic way to do this, but now let's just take a guess. So let's assume that there is one. So assume that there is an f such that uh, the gradient of f is equal to x2y. So this means that the partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to x, and it means that the partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to 2y. And so now we just need to come up with the function whose partial derivative is equal to x and whose, or sorry, whose partial x derivative is equal to x and whose partial y derivative is equal to y. And if you think about this for a little bit, the most obvious choice, the most obvious choice, now this doesn't always work, but the most obvious choice is just to add an anti, an anti derivative for this to an anti derivative for this. So the, the, so the kind of basic anti derivative for x is just x squared over 2. Oops, let me erase that stray mark. So the guess should be that this is x squared over 2 plus an antiderivative for this, which is y squared. Okay, and now is it true that the gradient of this is equal to x to y? And well, if you take the derivative with respect to x, you get uh, x. And if you take the derivative with respect to y, you get 2y. So in other words, yes, the gradient of f is equal to f. And again, that's because the partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to x, and the partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to 2y. So this tells us that f is conservative, big F is conservative, and the potential function is little f. So big F is equal to the gradient of little f. So what this tells us then is that the line integral of f over this curve, well, by definition, this is just the integral from t equals a to b, gradient of f evaluated at r of t dotted with dr. And by the fundamental theorem of line integrals, this is just f of r of b minus f of r of a. Okay, but in this particular problem, we know what b and a are. We know that b is equal to 1 and a is equal to 0. So this is so this is uh, 0 to 1. So this is f of r of 1 minus f of r of 0. Well, what is r of 0 equal to? r of 0, you just plug in t is equal to 0. So t is equal to 0. The first component is 0. And the second component is sine of 0. So that's also 0. So f of uh, r of 0 is 0, 0. r of 1, well, the first component is going to be 1 because that's t. And the second component is going to be sine of pi, so that's 0. Okay, so then the answer is going to be, so the line integral c of f over dr is going to be f of 1, 0 minus f of 0, 0. f of 1, 0 is 1. f of 0, 0 is 0. So this is just equal to 1. OK, uh, sorry, f of 1, 0 is 1 half. f of 1, 0 is 1 half, because when you plug in x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0, you get 1 half. And f of 0, 0, when you plug in x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0, you get 0.
So this is the answer. So the outline is if you know that the vector field is conservative, in other words, it's the gradient of some potential function, then you figure out what that potential function is. And again, we'll come up with a systematic way to do that. And then you just do f of the endpoint minus f of the final point. So this is how you, you use the fundamental theorem of line integrals to, to compute line integrals.